Hello guys, I'm here to film another thrift haul for you guys. <sighs> Today, I don't really know what we have because I filmed the try on portion probably like two weeks ago and I forgot, I forgot what we have. So, is that a problem? Yeah, yeah it is, it is kind of a problem. I don't really know what I got. So we're just gonna go through and see what I got. And if you're new to my channel, please turn on post notifications subscribe obviously because i do a lot of thrifting hauls all of that sorts of stuff and you're not gonna want to miss this one because i don't even know what i got and i'm excited to go through i bought this in my birthday month so they gave me 15 percent off my purchase every single time i went and this place guys if you want to know it is uptown cheapskate they even gave me a cute little reusable bag i love it we even got my boyfriend some stuff and he's been wearing it on stock and i love plato's closet sorry not not that place no i'm just kidding i love uptown stuff is always so good and good priced so if you guys want to go thrifting literally go to uptown i literally saw it like when i was 15 or something i was like who would want to go there it's called uptown cheapskate like are you a cheapskate and i kept making jokes about it but no girl i am a cheapskate i don't want to pay those full prices so we're gonna go through this try on haul and see what i got okay let's see what i got <laughs> so i forgot to talk about these pieces but this first dress is a princess poly dress and it's super pretty just black satin i still have it i don't know why i didn't show it this I literally just didn't like the material, so I ended up returning it, so that's why it's not in this video, but I do have it in the try-on, and it's a super pretty back. This I also returned to, I don't know where it's from, I just didn't like the material, and I returned those shoes as well. The open back was the main reason I got it. It's so gorgeous. But I just didn't like the material, and I didn't feel like being an office person, so... First thing I see, I do remember this and I'm really excited for it. So these are Miss Me jeans. I know that's a trend. In 2015, no, 2010, when I was literally 10, I was so sad I didn't get a pair of these. Like I was literally, I was like devastated. But I got a pair now, girl, and they're not high rise. They're low rise. Let me tell you, these are the most flattering low rise jeans on me. I hate low rise. I look like a whale. But whales are cute. But these make me look so good. And they're not just skinny jeans. They have a little flare at the bottom. A tiny flare. It's not straight. As you could tell. It's like that. And then a little flare. And then the back of them have freaking wings, bro. Wings with little diamonds. And then, of course, the iconic Miss Me. So gorgeous. <gasps> I'm so excited for these. I'm crying. Anyway, they're a 25 inch waist, which is exactly what I am. They fit me perfectly. This thing is signature boot. So I got them for $18, which is kind of expensive, but these are in perfect condition. How, how did I get these? I'm really happy about it. As you can tell, I literally forgot what I got. So I'm very happy. The next thing I got, I don't know why I got this. I've never heard of this brand, Vigos, and it's in an extra small snakeskin, and it's kind of leathery. Little skirt with back pockets. It just fit me nice. I loved it. I was planning on pairing it with this snakeskin top, and I was like, this is gonna be a snakeskin moment. We're gonna be cute. We're gonna... It's gonna be a moment, but the snakeskin top didn't match this. It was so close. I have it on the try on, but it was so close to matching. It's just a cute little mini skirt for going out for day night. You know, just a cute little. It feels nice, feels beautiful. How much I get this for? $12. Cute, I don't know. Mm -hmm. This next one I do regret buying. I think it was like a dollar and that's why I bought it. When I first saw it, you know, I, I kind of grab things and I'm like, oh, that's like different. It's different, all right. It's real different, Emily. It was a dollar. Was I gonna pass it up? No. It does seem kind of warm, but also the only reason I really liked it was for this top part. So I might cut it into a top. So this top part just says like diesel. Diesel, I don't know what it says. It says something. And it has these little panels at the top with that cute waistband. I do like this. It reminds me of like an eyeball. I love it. I don't know what it is. It has little freaking sparkles and sequins around it. It's like that. And then all these have little sequins, and then it has like a three-tier bottom. 
I'm confused, but I love it. Like Emma Chamberlain said, it's just too ugly not to buy. I think she said that. I don't think it's ugly, honestly, but I do think everybody else will think it's ugly, but that's okay. She's different. She's cool. I don't know how I'd, you know what? The naked wolf boots make everything look good. So I'll just wear the naked wolf boots, insert picture here with this. I'll have it side by side. I can see it. The naked wolf boots whew, and this dress, it does smell like, like used. I don't normally buy things that smell because that's a huge thing for me. If I have it on and it like smells like something, I'm like, why, why? Like I just get, I just can't wear it. I get grossed out. This, it smells a little bit, but it's not too bad for me not to buy it. I haven't washed them yet. Don't burn me at the stake, but I haven't washed them. I literally forgot I got this and I'm really excited, but it's a little bikini top. This is something that it reminded me of Tana Mojo, like hardcore reminded me of her. This little bikini top that's black, these are zippers. There's no like actual like key on it, like this. I don't know what this is called. Phineas and Ferb, you didn't teach me on this. I know about aglet, but what is this called? A zipper or is this a zipper? Anyway, they have little, it's a little zipper right here, but it doesn't zip. But the thing is right here. So that's super cool to me. So I got it. Freaking who who gave this up? And why didn't you give up the bottoms too? I wanted those. Next, I don't know why I'm obsessed with weird stuff. These remind me of little mom shorts. I love them though. They're so cute. Okay, let's go oversizing. They are a size extra small. They're from a brand named Chic. The back, as you can see, has a different pattern than the front and even has the Chic logo right here. I don't know what Chic is. Different logoing, different like what you're like oh those are like plain shorts no i don't want to wear booty shorts all the time no thank you these are adorable these are adorable they're like biker length like true biker length shorts on me they make my butt look amazing and it was 15 but it looks like it has a little sales sticker on it so i got it for less than 15. obsessed obsessed hello Hello, come in my closet. Oh my god, how do I, how am I, how am I forgetting about this stuff? This is so cute. Oh, this one I did forget about. I'm really sad now because I got it because okay, I won't tell you what's wrong with it, but I'll just show you them. They're so cute. Oh my god, they have little pockets on the side. It has it has a freaking button with a skull on it oh my god it has orange stitching all over this brown pant it is a straight leg it has this cool embroidered p right here with this really cool fine pel pel which i think is a brand on the butt in orange and it has orange little buttons on it oh my god the zipper is broken like I put them on and I was like, how can I pass these up even if the zipper is broken? I know I can go to a seamstress. I know I can do that, but I feel like it will cost more than what they cost. They cost $19, which is a steal for brown cargo pants that are all just like wide leg. Oh my God, I'm so sad that I actually have to fix them because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that. I saw this girl like bringing them back and putting them back and I was like eyeing her, I was like, and then I literally was like, ready to put them down. I was like, thank you. And then I walked away because <laughs> I was literally, ugh. They're size 12. I don't, I don't know, but they fit me. That's the end of my thrift haul. So if you liked it, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want more thrift hauls because I kind of want to do thrift haul Thursday. So this one's going up next Thursday because I kind of want to do that, but I don't know if I will thrift that much to do thrift haul Thursday, but we're going to try it. I, if I have any thrift hauls, I'll post them on Thursday. I love you guys. I'm gonna film a Whitney Simmons try on haul right now. I need to do it. So I love you guys. Have a great night. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm bad at outros. So have a great night guys. <laughs>